Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have a new build of Windows 10 to look at. This is 14971, codename Redstone 2, and will be called the Creators Update when that comes out uh, early next year. So, uh, no, PC, no mobile build, just PC this week. Um, there wasn't a lot of changes in the mobile build anyway last week, but a couple of changes with this build, not a huge amount. One new feature, notable feature, and that is my Microsoft Edge now supports EPUB, which is a um, electronic publishing format, uh, ebook format. Uh, unencrypted ones, I should say, as well. You can get some uh, encrypted, um, but these are unencrypted ones. But a lot of um, Sites use these for electronic book publications, including Microsoft, who offer quite a lot of, um, of their books in EPUB format. What it means is that you can open EPUBs and uh, double click them in the Windows and they natively open in um, Microsoft Edge just as a PDF. Um, not a huge amount to see once you're in there, the, you can scroll through them and um, you, know, you can do all the usual. Um, things you would do, you can scroll through, you can uh, zoom in on pictures and things like that, you can search, uh, you can create bookmarks and uh, there's a few options, you can change the font and really that's about it, really there's not a huge amount. Apparently you can use Cortana to do searches as well, you can ask Cortana to search for a phrase or a word in uh, the ebook, it supports hyperlinks and that kind of thing. So a nice addition to uh, Microsoft Edge. The other thing that's new in this build is the 3D Paint is now uh, part of the build. Uh, Paint 3D Preview, there it is. So this is part of the Creators Update that's coming out. So you can create uh, 3D images uh, in uh, in this Paint program. So this is the new version of Paint. You could get it from the store anyway, but now it's included with the build. So one new thing there is that replace Command Prompt with PowerShell. So if I switch that on now, if uh, I right click or um, or do Windows key and X you'll see you get that there now and uh, that's PowerShell, the modern shell and uh, if I turn that off and do the same thing you see you got command prompt so I think the default is uh, to use PowerShell uh, I, maybe I've changed this before I don't remember doing it in the past but I had to then change that to, to, show, to show that um, other things are some language improvements for Chinese and Japanese input methods and they've updated the Get Office app which is the app that tells you to get the new Get Office like an advert app really they've updated that I'm not going to bother showing that we don't need to look at adverts uh, other changes Microsoft removed the snooze feature that was included in uh, build 14926 um, in Microsoft Edge it was a way of snoozing something so you could sort of come back to it later uh, they've taken that off uh, to, to feedback and they're going to reevaluate that for future. Uh, they've improved some reliability with Sketchpad and some uh, reliability with Magnifier and some disk cleanup. Um, they fixed an issue with Device Manager not shutting down a few other Microsoft Edge issues. There is a couple of known issues. Let's see if this is effect my device here is affected. If you go into the battery settings, it could potentially crash. Uh, so there you go, it crashed. So that is a known issue and uh, we're going to have to wait to the next build for that to be fixed. There's some issues using keyboard hotkeys, uh, for monitor hotkeys uh, for switching between displays. You've got to go into settings and some apps such as store photos people may launch on their own after the PC has been inactive for a period of time. Um, it says to stop the, these apps from launching on their own, unmaximize the apps before closing them. I'm sure they'll uh, fix those in future builds as well. So that's all the changes included in this in this build. 14971 for PC. You can uh, go on the YouTube our YouTube channel on the digitallife.com and see all the old, all the builds, previous builds, right back to the very first Windows 10 previews. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you with the next build video.